Starlink, Elon Musk's groundbreaking satellite internet service, is expanding its reach across the globe. However, its journey has been strikingly different in two South Asian countries, Sri Lanka and India. Today, we'll explore why Starlink's entry into Sri Lanka was a breeze, while in India the process has been anything but smooth. It all started in June 2024, when Sri Lankan President Ranil Wickremesinghe met with Elon Musk on the sidelines of an international conference in Indonesia. This meeting set the wheels in motion for Starlink's rapid entry into Sri Lanka. Starlink's satellite-based internet promises to revolutionize connectivity in Sri Lanka, especially in remote areas where traditional internet services struggle to reach. With over 6,500 satellites orbiting at just 550 kilometers above the Earth, Starlink offers high-speed internet access even in the most underserved regions. In stark contrast, Starlink's journey in India has been fraught with challenges. Despite India's high internet penetration rate, around 35% of its 1.4 billion people remain disconnected from the digital world, making satellite internet a crucial tool for bridging this gap. Moreover, Starlink faces stiff competition from well-established Indian telecom giants like Reliance Geo Bharti, Airtel, and Vodafone Idea. These companies have deep-rooted connections and are already dominant players in the broadband market. Additionally, Bharti Group-backed OneWeb is emerging as a direct competitor to Starlink in the satellite internet space. Another major obstacle for Starlink in India is the security concerns raised by the government. Unlike Indian companies, Starlink is under foreign control, which raises red flags for national security. Similar concerns have been voiced by Russia in Ukraine and China in Taiwan regarding Starlink's operations. Despite these challenges, the Indian government is keen on fostering satellite-based internet technologies. Companies like Reliance Geo and Luxembourg-based SES have already received approvals to operate in India, and the competition is heating up. This local competition may drive innovation and push global players like Starlink to reduce prices and enhance their services. While Starlink's entry into Sri Lanka was seamless and swift, its journey in India remains an uphill battle. As local competition intensifies and regulatory hurdles persist, the future of Starlink in India hangs in the balance. Despite these challenges, Starlink has a significant advantage in terms of internet speed. With its low-latency, high-speed satellite internet, Starlink can potentially offer speeds far superior to the median mobile and fixed internet connection speeds in India, which stand at 18.26 megabits per second and 49.09 megabits per second respectively. However, the existing internet infrastructure in India is robust, and for many users, the current speeds provided by established telecoms are sufficient for their needs. Will Starlink overcome these obstacles and emerge as a key player in both markets? Only time will tell. At Guardian LK, we're committed to bringing you the latest insights on technology and its impact across the globe. Whether it's the rise of satellite internet or the latest innovations in the tech industry, we've got you covered. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Stay tuned for more in-depth analyses and updates on the world of technology.